Hello traders, uh, thanks for joining me for this short video on how to load up a watch list and set alerts. Uh, there are a couple different alerting functions that you can use on the Benzinga Pro platform, uh, but instead of me telling you about them, why don't I just show you? So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, and in order to, to start on your watch list, what you would like to do is just select that watch list icon right here, or you can also select the watch list icon right here. So if you did not have a watch list, uh, what you would do is you just select this plus sign right here, or if there is uh, the availability to do it right here, you would just create a new watch list. So uh, what I'm going to do is just name this watch list, uh, and I just do so by typing out a unique name that I would remember and hit create watch list. So what you guys should see is uh, just, you know, like it says, this watch list is empty. So what I do up here is I can either copy and paste if I had that list somewhere, whether it was in a Google sheet or uh, Excel sheet, or if you just had it in a document. Uh, but if you don't and you want to type them out, all you would have to do is type out the ticker symbol, hit enter, and you will see them starting to load up right up there. Uh, so I'm just going to type in uh, about six or seven of them, and you guys will see uh, how to add them. So I have them all selected right at the top. I've hit enter, uh, and I notice that my watch list is still empty. All I need to do right now is hit enter one more time, and you will notice that they all populated right below. Uh, so if I wanted to get rid of this watch list completely, I could just hit this trash can. It will delete it forever. If I want to rename the watch list, I could do so by just hitting the pencil button and I update it and there it is. If I want to create a new watch list, I could do so by just hitting the plus sign, new sample, typing in a name, and I can jump back and forth from my different watch lists if I would like to. So while I have these four or five tickers in my watch list, some things that I can do with this is I can right click and I can remove GM by right clicking uh, and removing it that simple. If I wanna add it back, I just type in GM, hit enter two times and it appears. Uh, say I wanted all this information uh, into a CSV export, I would just uh, click the export watch list to CSV file, or if I wanted to see some other data points, I could just hit the control panel. Uh, I would see that I have these other features or data points that I could add if I wanted to, and if I wanted to get rid of the toolbar, I would just do so like that. Uh, so. Uh, you, a way you can also go to a details page of SNAP would be the right click, or if I click on the ticker symbol, it's going to bring me over to this details page. So now that I have a watch list, I'm going to want to set up alerts. I would do so by clicking the alert icon right here. We see that I have all of these different alerting functions for categories. So if I wanted to set up a sound alert for these categories, I could do so right here. If I wanted a real-time email with these categories, I could also do so right here. Uh, so now I want to I want to set up my alerts for my watch list. We were just looking at categories. Here's my watch list. I then select the watch list that I created, and you see that I can have uh, sound alerts for when they come through my Newsfeed, so if I wanted a alarm noise every time Ford came across my newsfeed, I could do so like that. Uh, say I didn't have the platform, had the ability to have the platform open today, but I wanted to be alerted to any actionable information, I would just select the real time email right here. So I would get that email to my phone and, uh, you know, not miss any alerts. A uh, feature we just launched about two months ago is this daily email summary for your watch list. Uh, what this does is twice a day, one around 7.30 a.m., uh, it sends me an email, highlights all the tickers that had any 
uh, action happening in the overnight session or the futures market. And uh, I get an email about 5 p.m. Eastern time as well. That gives me an overview about any actionable or informative information that happened on my watch list that day during that day's session. So I uh, showed you guys a little bit about the watch list, how to add tickers. Uh, you know, there's a ton of things you can do. You could filter your news feed out uh, to only see information pertaining to your watch list uh, by hitting the filters icon on your news feed. And it is right over in the far right. So uh, don't want to take up too much of your time. Uh, you know, play with the platform. Uh, tell us what we can do to improve. If you guys have any questions, feel free to give us a call at this number right here or click the help icon and chat with support. Uh, you know, from Benzinga, this is Mike Marshall.